HMI. Um, it's an update of my UFX today, my ukulele effects pedal board. Um, I built this back in the summer um, and I've got a new pedal. If you haven't already seen it, go and check out the video where I show the different settings for this Donna um, Dynamic Wah. It's an auto wah pedal. Um, and I'm gonna have a go of popping it onto the pedal board today. Now I've had a little think. Um, the wah pedal, if I'm gonna put it on, it has to go at the front. So it goes in front of the distortion and overdrive and everything else. I've got two distortion pedals on here at the minute. I've got a crunch distortion and a sort of overdrive US dream um, distortion pedal on here. So I'm gonna take the crunch off and replace it with this little booty. Right, so pedal board ready. Um, quickly take this one off, replace it. I'm not overly thrilled that I'm gonna have purple next to purple. Don't get me wrong, I love purple. Um, but who knows what's gonna happen over time anyway. So, auto wire going on, crunch distortion coming off. we go right so the new board in full glory with the dynamic wah then we've got Camis us dream a distortion sort of overdrive Camis vintage phase analog chorus donna a delay and the mosky reverb so clean signal to start with Now, just to give you a really quick idea um, of some of the different sounds at the moment what you just heard then I'm using two microphones I've got the microphone which is in front of my amplifier picking up the electric signal coming out from here and I've also got an overhead mic going on which is obviously picking up my voice but it's picking up the acoustic okay so we're just going to just to give you an idea i'm just going to do a very very quick test with the overhead mic on and then purely just the amp mic on okay so here is both mics I'm going to play the same thing again, but this time without the overhead mic on, just purely what is coming out of the amplifier. So imagine if you were in a gig, this is what the audience would hear, okay? Now obviously that is a clean signal, so let's have a little bit of fun with the effects. First of all, let's just put a little bit of reverb on, as I don't have any reverb on this amp. Um, and let's try the new one, the Auto Wah. Now again, you've got to remember that different ukuleles and even different types of electric ukulele are going to have an impact on the sound as well. Um, we might try that in a moment actually, but first of all, this is my electroacoustic uh, snail ukulele with reverb and a little bit of auto wah. <laughs> Thank you. 
person's made it onto the board. Okay, whilst we're still on the auto wire, let's just try that with a little bit of, um, we've got reverb on, a little bit of chorus to see what happens there. Um, I've got the rate at about one o'clock and the depth at about 11. <laughs> Turn the depth up a little bit. <laughs> In fact, let's go with one of my favourites. Let's see if we can get George Ezra's shotgun with a little bit of wire as well. I don't know whether it'll work or not. Let's see. <laughs> So what we've got going on there at the minute is basically um, modulation, phaser, and a filter, an envelope filter, which is the auto wah with a little bit of reverb. And that sort of suits really quite nicely what's going on with the ukulele. <laughs> Um, let's get rid of the phaser and the chorus for a minute. We'll put a little bit of delay on, but it is only going to be a little bit. Hang on, let's see. I want to get it so it's just one if possible. Um, with wah, uh, delay and reverb. <laughs> right, um, Okay, let's try the distortion, a little bit of overdrive with this. I'm going to turn the volume down a minute because we don't want it feeding back. Yeah, straight away, can you hear that kicking in? Right, the delay is off. I think we might be okay with volume. Mmm, I quite like that. There we are, let's just turn the distortion off, get rid of that horrible humming. So that is the wah um, mixed in with some of the other pedals. As I mentioned a moment ago, using different ukuleles has an, uh, a massive impact too. So this is my snail electroacoustic. It is active in that it's got a battery in it, but there's no big equalizer or anything, all right? Let's try another uke. Next up is my Flight Voyager tenor ukulele. Now, the reason I've actually chosen this one is this is a completely passive uke. And a lot of the time you'd expect that to be quieter. Um, I haven't found that to be the case at all, okay? So this is a Flight uh, tenor ukulele with a little bit of reverb and the wah pedal again, okay?
All right, it'll be interesting to see if there is a noticeable difference. It's quite difficult to tell by year, um, but in the recording, hopefully you will hear some difference. Let's just try a little bit of distortion. I'm gonna turn it down a fraction. Got to get that feedback in. Next up is my husband's Harley Benton um, solid body ukulele. This is only a very cheap um, solid body ukulele. It's very cute. It's very fun to play. Um, something that's always very noticeable with this, I'm just plugging it in, is that the volume on this is much, much quieter. Now, I haven't touched the volume control on the amp at all. All right. Obviously, with a solid body, you're going to expect it to be much quieter anyway when you're playing it not plugged in. All right, so um, it'll be interesting to see now what the volume is. And I haven't touched the amp. This is all at full and the pedals are all as they were a moment ago. All right, just check. Well, there's something coming through. It is remarkably quieter to hear it. I'm just going to turn the volume up on the amp just to give it a fair crack. So I've muted it for a moment. I'm expecting quite a lot more buzzing to come off the amp now. Yeah, you're probably going to pick that up, but it, just to give it a bit of an idea roughly of what it sounds like. I do actually quite like playing this one um, and it is something else I'm looking at for the future is possibly a slightly more expensive solid body ukulele so that's solid body very cheap very quiet ukulele with the effects right the last um, uke we're gonna have a little go of today just to show the difference now with different ukuleles how they can sound um, is this one. It is my oil can bohemian uh, ukulele. Now if you haven't watched the unboxing, go and watch it. Um, basically I haven't done a review of this at the minute. It needs a fair bit of work, all right? Um, if you watch the unboxing you will see that the frets are horrible on it. I mean absolutely horrible. They're really really sharp. I have already spent a little bit of time working on the fret but unfortunately there's hours and hours of work there to get them really nice and playable and i haven't got that time at the minute so i am i'm gonna have a quick quick go of it just to show you how the steel strings sound different to the nylon strings and i'm gonna try and not rip my fingers apart all right but this is uh, my bohemian oil can ukulele which obviously is an electric uke but it's got steel strings Okay, so wah pedal is on and a little bit of reverb, um, just to have an idea. It sounds very different with the steel strings.
There you are. So that is a steel string. It's not the best at all. And maybe one day I'll either have a different uke or this one will be a lot more playable. That is my new updated UFX with the new auto wah pedal on it by Donna. Um, £30. The rest of them were all £20 or under. So there we are, my UFX, ukulele effects pedal board, updated. Um, the Donna Auto Wah pedal going on there now. Um, be interesting to see where this goes in the next few months. Um, I'm always on the lookout to try different pedals to see what's going to suit the ukulele. Um, I just wish I had a bit more time at the minute to mess about and play with it. There we go. So, if you've got a comment or a question please feel free to leave it below give us a like if you've enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos thank you for watching